Hi guys, welcome to Top of the Chops. I'm Joe Garrett and this week we're going to look at The Business by Tiesto. So this one's going to be really difficult compared to last week anyway. So if you're a beginner or even kind of early intermediate standard, you're probably better off looking at last week's video. So I've done dance tunes in the past or adapted them for Top of the Chops and they've got a lot of love. Uh, one in particular was Breaking Me. Um, loads of comments and likes so hopefully this one gets as much love as well but I like adapting them with finger style so again if you're not used to this style and you use your pick a lot then you might find this one difficult but it's worth a watch anyway so as always please hit the subscribe button the bell icon grab your guitars and let's get started So we're going to use our thumb, index finger and middle finger on the right hand for most of this song and we're in the key of G sharp minor. Now we're going to be using our thumb a lot as well for the bass notes. It's basically going to be a split of bass notes at the same time as chords on the top part which are pretty much doing the top line as well so the melody and then slaps in between um, for the snare sounds. Okay, So yeah our first chord G sharp minor, I'm going to have thumb on the 4th fret of the low E string. 6th fret on the D string, 3rd finger, 1st finger on the 4th fret of the G string. And we can pluck all of those with the, the thumb and the two fingers I mentioned. And then we're going to just do the fingers and leave the thumb out for the next two. Okay. Now actually the third one is where I get a snare hit in. And if you've seen any of the videos before, the way I do this is a lot of muting. So as I put my palm down, so this side of my palm on the strings, my index finger and maybe the middle as well are just gonna kind of flick the strings. And I relax my fingers on the left hand as well to get that mute. So I go. Actually, no, I'm not relaxing these fingers, sorry. They're held down so I can get that chord ringing out as well. Everything else is muted, so my palm's mainly on those low strings. My first finger's kind of arched, so it's going to mute those top strings as well. So you get... Okay. Then we move down to an F-sharp major chord. So thumb on the second fret of the low E string. Fourth fret on the D string with third finger. Middle finger on the third fret of the G string. And the same thing... Okay, then we're just going to catch the D and G string again and put our low E in between it before we jump to an E major. So second finger on the second fret of the D string, first finger on the first fret of the G string. So, and then hit the low E again, I think. Hold on. Yeah, and then your slap can just land on muted notes for that last one. And then you hold that, so. Have one more slap, and that is literally just right thumb slapping down on the strings, relaxed left hand. Okay, then we just go up the other way. in the same sort of pattern, that was a bit sketchy. Uh, but we are gonna use our third finger, rarely in this song, to catch the open B string. Okay, and our flick with the, the snare is gonna go all the way down to that B string as well. Don't worry if you catch the high E string, it's an E chord after all. And same pattern going up on that last one as it was from the F sharp to the E, okay? Now this is where the melody changes slightly and I'm going to hit the 4th fret with my thumb on the low E string just on its own. My G sharp minor chord is ready so 3rd finger on 6th fret, 1st finger on 4th fret of the G string. And that's where a snare hit will happen so we do thumb, hit but we're going to hammer on our little finger to the 6th fret of the G string afterwards. Okay, then we're going to put our middle finger on the 5th fret of the B string, 
Our first finger is going to be flat on the G string and the B string, fourth fret, and we're going to hit our thumb as well. Okay, so the low E string, G string, and B string, and then pull off the fifth fret to the fourth fret on the B string. And then we're going to get another slap, but this is just going to be a single note, so you've got to get your mute in correct with your, your index finger and your thumb over, probably to the at least the yeah the A string, your thumb's going to be muting too, and then your first finger's slightly going to be touching the D string so that that's not ringing out, so loads of muting going on. Because you just want that sixth fret on the G string. And straight away, single note, fifth fret on the B string, pull off again to the four. Your thumb's going to jump down to the two on the D, uh, low E string. So. And then you've got your F sharp major chord ready there for uh, the next slap. They're coming all the time because it's kind of that full time um, dance uh, tempo. Uh, and then we're gonna hit the D string and the G string, fourth fret and third fret. So let me show you that after that part. Actually, I'll go all the way down to the second fret on the, uh, the B string as well um, with that chord. Then we change again, we do open low E, and our first finger is going to go to the G string, first fret, middle finger on second fret of the B string. So you hit the bass note the first time, but not the second time. Okay, how's that rhythm go? This is so hard to play slow. Okay, so our slap comes right after that second note and it cuts everything off. Then I'm going to hit the G string and the B string again, keep your fingers held down, and you're going to hammer a little finger over to the four on the B string. And I think I'm going between with open E's at the same time as well. Yeah. And yeah, I'm just keeping that first finger and fourth um, finger on one and four on the G and B string when I hit the next slap. So again, lots of muting involved. So that whole phrase from there. Okay, you hear some notes ringing out here and there that you don't want, so it's worth practicing it hard. I know I'm getting some notes ringing out there. Um, but yeah, that's the thing, it's a really tough, um, tough riff to play without getting anything ringing out. So you really have to kind of uh, get dedicated to learning this way. Finally, we're gonna to go to our E major chord, and this is gonna be a similar pattern to we did at the beginning of the song, which was going from the E to the F sharp, finally to the G sharp, okay? So we're gonna hit it three times, but the bass note is only gonna go on the first time, and you're gonna hit the D string, G string, and B string. Obviously the third one is going to be your snare hit, so flicking the index finger. Then we climb up to F sharp major, so thumb on the second fret low E, fourth fret on the D string third finger, third fret on the G string middle finger. Same thing, and then this is where we do kind of the alternate between the thumb and the, um, the chord. So we hit the D and G string on the F sharp major chord first. And normally where we would climb up then to the thumb on the fourth fret and doing the sixth fret and the fourth fret on the D and G strings, we're just gonna be doing the octave now. So fourth fret on the low E, sixth fret on the D string. So. And then you're gonna catch a last final slap and then you can repeat it. Okay. Okay, and then that kind of rolls round. You can repeat it as many times as you like. Okay, it's a lot to take in. Hopefully I did that slow enough. I'm gonna do a close up shot of the whole riff. Um, I think I repeat it twice. Um, so you can see it close up. That will be full speed. But yeah, if you need to kind of rewind this or 
rewind, that's old school, skip back, <laughs> press whatever tab it is on the keyboard to go back a few steps. Uh, then you can kind of isolate sections and see a section at a time, but you've really, yeah, got to do that, isolate it and just take it really slowly, a bit at a time, then piece it together. Even if you want to do it without like the snare hits first, because it's all about kind of that synchronization um, and yeah, kind of the variation. It's kind of like what drummers do, I guess, when they're using one hand doing one rhythm, one doing the other, and then even their feet as well. But yeah, cool. It's a tough one. Get stuck into it and yeah, hope you enjoy playing it. Thank you so much for watching. Please check in next time for Top of the Chops. Yeah.